Thanks for joining our live feed today. Uh, my name is Audrey Hawley. I'm a senior hearing care professional here in the Florida region, and we're having a Facebook Live Blitz today. So we're excited to um, communicate with all of our customers out there and potentially anybody that has any questions. So um, I'm coming to you from our St. Petersburg location. That's in Florida, sunny Florida, actually a wonderful city um, filled with vibrant downtown and lots of museums and fabulous restaurants, although nobody's going to them right now, of course. And um, let's see, what is St. Petersburg best known for? Um, for 768 days of consecutive sunshine. Uh, so that's kind of a, a cool little fact. However, unfortunately today is not one of those days because it is gloomy and it's rainy. Um, so, so a nice time, I guess, in our area at least, to be on Facebook Live and maybe we can answer some questions for you. I also wanted to let everyone know that um, all of my colleagues in the Florida region are also going to be streaming live today, um, right now, so it's happening throughout the whole region. Um, Connect Hearing is almost 200 locations strong in the United States, and here in Florida we have 24 locations, so it's highly likely that we have a location close to you so that we can help uh, if you have any need. Um, I would welcome everyone to um, just type in some questions so that I can um, answer any that you may have. And I also have some questions that have come to me ahead of time. Uh, so I'm going to start with um, a couple of those. So let's see. Um, oh, I want to tell you a little bit more just about me real quick. I have been practicing for 18 years uh, in the state of Florida and 17 of those years I have been right here um, in this location, which is on 4th Street um, in St. Petersburg. Um, so lots of, I don't know why we call it practicing. That's a lot of practicing, isn't it? However, here we are, 18 years. Um, so let's see. Um, let's talk a little bit about telehealth because um, we're hearing a lot about telehealth on the news these days. And um, I'm not sure if everybody understands what it is, so let me just explain it a little bit to you. So um, telehealth is really a way for us in the medical community to be able to um, stay in contact with our patients so that if there's any um, emergencies or anything that you may need our help with and you can't physically get into our office to see us, then um, we're able to connect with you. And we can do that Oh gosh, we can do that in a bunch of different ways. We can do it from Facebook Live. Uh, we can also do it from Skype, um, from Microsoft Teams. Um, we can pretty much communicate with you from any smartphone that you may have or a tablet or a computer. Um, we really aren't limited these days. We can, um, you can even do hearing tests. Um, on our website, connecthearing.com, you can do a, kind of a general screening of your hearing to see whether there's a, a potential hearing loss there for, uh, and um, at least get us started that way. We can also do remote programming. So if you have hearing aids and uh, you've been in to see us and you need help or you need adjustments to the hearing aids, we can do that for you uh, remotely so that in these kind of you know difficult and challenging times, we can... Um, connect with you and connect through your smartphone and actually make programming adjustments to your hearing aids. So it's really nice, nice way to keep everybody safe right now. Um, and while we're talking about telehealth, I do want to let everybody know that's watching that we are actually still open. Our clinics are open, although we're operating, uh, practicing social distancing. We also are offering curbside assistance. So we're still selling supplies to people. We're still helping people with repairs. Most of our clinics have uh, some kind of a curbside setup so that you can um, let us know that you're coming and we have a way to um, have you drop your hearing aids off in a box and then we come out and get them and while you wait in your car, we're assessing your hearing aids and hopefully repairing them if that's what you're here for or maybe you're just here because you want us to clean them. Uh, certainly, we have a lot of customers that like to come in uh, every month and have us professionally deep clean their hearing aids, so we're still offering that service. And we can also 
um, send you supplies through the mail and we are shipping um, at no charge right now based on the situation. So there's, we're here for you. There's no reason to feel that um, you have to wait or if something is wrong with your hearing aid that you have to suffer through it until the re uh, restrictions have been lifted. Uh, down here in Florida, we are still under some pretty stringent restrictions, so um, we can help. I can also um, come to your home. I can pick up hearing aids uh, from your um, retirement facility. I know a lot of people are not allowed in and out, but there is no limit to how we um, are still here uh, to help you. We understand that hearing is a gift and that in these critical times, it can be a little scary. And if you can't hear, that just makes it that much more um, scary. So we're here for you. So let me see what other questions um, have come in. All right, let's see. Okay, so someone asks, um, my grandparent is isolated in a nursing home and needs uh, hearing aid repair, what can you do? Um, okay, so I actually just did this the other day. Um, I got a call that there was a problem with a set of hearing aids and this was a customer of ours. So she was not allowed out of her facility. Um, so they, um, her retirement community had a table and a nurse and practicing of course with mask and gloves and they were sitting out front and they knew to expect me and I literally just drove up. My patient had left the hearing aids down at the main level so that I could pick them up. Um, I'm masked and gloved, of course. Um, I pick them up, drive them back to my clinic, um, make the um, repairs that needed to be done, and then I just brought them back to her and she was absolutely thrilled. So um, your grandparent doesn't have to wait until they're able to come back out again. Um, we can certainly do that for you. Or um, you could pick up the hearing aids if you're allowed to do that and bring them to us for curbside. Uh, service. So no need to wait. We're here to help and we want to get your grandparent hearing. Okay. Um, so I have another question. Let's see. Um, oh, well, somebody's saying to me, why is telehealth important? Like, what's the big deal about it? Well, it's important because we need to keep in communication with you. Not only um, is it important in the early stages of when you're uh, getting used to wearing hearing aids, and some of you may be in that stage. So typically we would have you come into the office and uh, make adjustments to the hearing aids and counsel you on getting used to wearing them and acclimating to how things are sounding different and hopefully a lot better. Um, so it's important not only in those early stages, but it's also critical throughout time, you know, monthly checkups, or if you're having some kind of an issue, um, it's really, really important for us. We wanna stay connected to you. So um, that's why it's important. And again, we are not limited by how we might be able to do that. We can do that in all of the ways that I've already um, mentioned to you earlier, okay. Um, yeah, so we remain committed to our customers, of course, and um, just, you know, part of why we're doing this live streaming today is because we want to connect with you and we want to make sure that you all know that we are here for you. And if you're anywhere in the United States, it's highly likely that we have a Connect Hearing Clinic very close to you and um, all of our clinics are, are here to help. If you pick up the phone and you call, someone's going to be there to answer that call for you. Um, you're not going to be put into a voicemail and you're, and if we're busy, we're going to call you back. Okay. So just know that. Um, another question I have here is, can I have someone accompany me to my appointment, um, at this time in case there's an emergency? Absolutely. We, um, always want you to have somebody with you. Um, a loved one is always welcome right now in our clinics based on the, um, social distance distancing we are allowing you to bring one person with you and we can keep everybody spaced over six feet apart if you have to come into the clinic for a, a particular reason and we are only allowing one customer in at a time so you don't have to worry about um, having too many people inside your space okay and of course we are still doing all of our sanitizing uh, we have always done that we uh, disinfect in between every customer and um, so we've always done that and we continue to do that. So just please know that you're gonna be safe if you have to come into the clinic. Even with our curbside assistance right now, um, everything that's being touched is being disinfected in between. So uh, please, you know, feel safe. 
Back to, can I bring somebody in with me? We have always wanted our customers to have somebody come in and be with them. It's an extra set of ears and they can advocate for you. So yes, absolutely, you can bring somebody with you and we would um, strongly support that. Okay, let's see. Do we have any other questions coming in? Let's see. Okay. We talked about that already. Um, telehealth. We talked about that also. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for a couple of minutes and see if anybody else has any questions that um, they may want answered. Um, while we're waiting for questions to come in, I do want to talk about the importance in general of hearing healthcare and um, not putting it off. You know, the average consumer, we see the statistics that people wait seven to 10 years on average before they start responding to a hearing loss. Um, that makes me a little sad because in the beginning stages, we often don't even know that we have hearing loss or we start suspecting that it's other people that are just mumbling, you know, all of the usual. So um, we've progressed as an industry. Our hearing aids are phenomenal these days. Um, we always supply uh, free hearing tests also. They're always complimentary. So that's um, if you're worried about what it's gonna cost to come in and see us, you can put that aside because we're going to um, uh, do a full comprehensive hearing exam and you don't have to worry about the cost of that. And um, we also know that when you're not hearing well, it's not just affecting you, of course, it's affecting all of the people that you communicate with. So that can be sometimes stressful for families. And um, in addition to that, we also know that there's some very strong scientific um, evidence that shows that untreated hearing loss or undertreated hearing loss is also connected to um, dementia. So we know that there's basically seven risk factors for dementia and untreated hearing loss is one of those. It's also one of the simplest ways to uh, remove that risk by just coming in, having the complimentary exam, um, and um, we can try to solve the solution. We, we have the solutions here for you. So um, please consider that if you're suffering from hearing loss or suspect that you are, then um, please come and see us. And even under these circumstances, we do have clinics that are um, able to do uh, their hearing tests. Um, so call us. I'm sure that we're close to you somewhere in the country. Um, okay, so someone else is asking, what about product trials? Are they still being offered? Absolutely, yes, they are still being offered. Of course, we have to have a hearing test, so we can do that remotely. Um, you can go to our Connect Hearing website to get a screening. Um, if you're a current customer of ours and you would like to uh, trial um, a new product, um, you can do that. We can program the hearing aids. We can actually uh, get them programmed and drop them off at your home um, without even being in contact with you. And then you're able to um, have a trial of them, you know, keep them for a week, see how you do. Obviously, you're not going to go out and go to places you normally would, like your favorite restaurants right now. But certainly, see how TV is, how you're communicating within your house, your family. Maybe you're going out for walks and you're talking to people. So yes. Um, those products are still available. We're still doing our free trials and we can bring the hearing aids to you if you can't make it into us. Okay. Um, someone else is asking, can I clean my hearing aids uh, at home or would I have to come into the office? Yes and yes. Uh, you don't have to come into the office, but again, with our curbside service, you're certainly welcome to come in. I've been cleaning hearing aids all week long and it's working out really, really lovely and people are very, very happy that we're able to still continue to do that. But you can also clean your hearing aids at home. So um, with your hearing aids, you probably should have been, you probably have a little brush that you got in your uh, starter pack and that brush, you just want to take it and um, just kind of brush off the tip of the hearing aid, the part that's going into the ear. That way you can remove uh, any wax that may be blocking the hearing aid. Um, I always recommend that you do your cleaning of your hearing aids in the morning before you put the hearing aids in your ears because if there is any wax that's accumulated on them, they are uh, the wax is going to be dry and harder and easier actually to get, um, to get rid of, to remove. 
I always use the analogy that if you're trying to clean wax from your hearing aid when you've just taken it out of your ear, that it's a lot like trying to scoop ice, melted ice cream with a fork. I think you get the idea. So I like to, I like to advise to clean in the morning. Um, you can also take the hearing aid and you can wipe it down with an alcohol swab. If you just squeeze out the extra alcohol, you can wipe the hearing aid that way. Um, or a slightly damp paper towel. So yes, you can clean your hearing aids at home and hopefully you've been shown how to do that. But again, we are here for you should you want to um, come into the office and have that curbside service that we're offering. Um, someone else is asking, um, can hearing loss affect your balance? Absolutely it can. Um, you know, the hearing system is a very delicate one and we do know that um, hearing loss and um, untreated hearing loss uh, can affect balance and that is uh, very important of course to our older population um, and we know that having bad balance and feeling off and even falling can be really quite devastating to people to recover from so uh, yes that's another reason why you should be having your hearing checked and if you uh, need hearing correction, that we move forward and get you hearing aids so that you're helped not only um, for your cognitive fitness, but also for balance and also for quality of life to be able to be socializing with your friends, your family, all your loved ones, and even in the workforce also at church. Okay, um, so hopefully that answers that question. The short answer is yes, uh, hearing loss can affect your balance. Uh, next question is, what kind of TV accessories are there? Oh, fabulous question. So we are working with phenomenal technology these days that can connect, uh, your hearing aids can now connect to your smartphone. It can, um, they can also connect to other pieces of technology. And one of those technologies, of course, is TV. And right now we're all closed up at home and uh, we're probably watching a lot more TV than we normally would. So um, there is a TV connector that uh, works in conjunction with your hearing aids. It's very simple to use. You just plug it into uh, your television. There's a couple of different options on how you would do that. Super simple. We're gonna get all of that set up for you in office and then you just go home and plug it in. And it actually will stream the audio of the TV directly into your hearing aids. So not only is it like I always say there's like a wow factor when people first get that that first moment of hearing the TV audio streaming into their hearing aids. So uh, so yes, there is a TV. There's many options for TV accessories out there. It also gives a little bit of peace in the household if other people in the house that have normal hearing are complaining that you have your television too loud. Even with great hearing aids, sometimes people feel the need to turn their TV up because if they're turning their TV up, then they think that they're going to get better understanding. But there is a difference between hearing volume and understanding and that clarity. So that's what that TV accessory is for. And then the TV uh, can be put at the volume that everybody else wants it at because you're having your own private little party inside your hearing aids. Really, really clear and phenomenal. Um, someone else asks, uh, what about an app? Um, we're working with some great hearing aids and the Phonak Marvels are one that, I just feel it's the best hearing aid on the market today. And I also feel like that, um, that Phonak has one of the best apps on the marketplace today too. And that app is gonna be on your smartphone and it allows you to do a bunch of different things. Most importantly, it allows you to control the volume of your hearing aids should you want to adjust them. Of course, our hearing aids are automatic and we're, um, they're gonna um, assess the environment, but sometimes you wanna override those automatic features. So the app can, you can use it to uh, turn the hearing aids up and down. You can use it uh, for a bunch of different things, um, including changing where your microphones are pointed. If you're in a noisy environment, you can increase or decrease the noise management system. Really, really comprehensive, super easy to use app. So yes, it's out there. Okay, somebody else is asking, can you remove wax from ears? Absolutely we can. Um, our locations are, um, I guess what I wanna say is we're certified in cerumen removal. So yes, we can remove wax from your ears. Uh, we have different methods of doing it. And um, 
it's painless and safe. So absolutely, we offer that service also, yes. Okay, so let's see. We're waiting to see if there's any other comments coming in. Okay, let's see. Um, I feel like I'm not understanding. Hold on, this is small, I need my glasses. I feel like I'm not understanding people as well now that everyone is wearing masks. Oh my gosh, that is such a great, great, um, great question. Uh, yeah, so I think that you're not alone in that. I think even people with normal hearing are still having, um, they're having more trouble now because of the mask. So. If you're not wearing hearing aids, absolutely the hear, get you know hearing aids are going to assist with that. Of course, we're a little bit muffled, and as um, we all rely on speech reading, even if they're even if we don't know it, I always say to my customers, if you don't think you're speech reading, you probably are doing it without realizing it. So the fact that we're missing the ability to see someone's uh, mouth moving and their gestures it is definitely more challenging but my customers that are coming in here are masked and i'm masked and we're able to communicate when we when we get hearing aids on them i will tell you that i am kind of missing i i feel bad that my customers can't see me smiling um, i mentioned it to them they said that they say that they can see it in my eyes but i do want to show you something that i did just try to lift the mood because it's been a little bit crazy so this is what i've done i'm still masked but uh, people get a kick out of it they do enjoy that because i want them to know that i'm smiling um, okay, someone else says, good, because I need wax removed from my ears. Yeah, absolutely. So that is something that we can offer. So if you just want to give uh, the clinic that's closest to you a call. Okay, let's see. Do we have any other questions? That was a great question, Lisa. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, we've covered that one the wax from the ears TV. Yeah, um, okay. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes and see if anybody else has any questions for me. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna say that I really, really wanna um, once again welcome everybody into our clinics. We are here to help you. We've got telehealth options for you, curbside service. Um, we don't want anybody struggling and waiting to get help we're here for you please please give us a call and let us know how we can help you um, okay so i've got another question here when i go for a walk i turn on my ipod music loud is that good or not yeah okay so we know that um we we experience hearing loss from uh, a couple of different things it can be um gen you know a genetic uh, hereditary factor it can be from i just say how many birthdays have you had the more birthdays you have the more likely um, it is that you're going to have hearing loss it kind of comes with the birthdays and also noise exposure so i would love for people to know that those um you know, if you're exposing your ears to 85 decibels or louder for an hour or longer, you're actually creating damage to um, to your ears, and then that will show up later in life, um, and then you'll be coming in to, to seek our help. Uh, 85 decibels isn't that much. You know, we talk at somewhere between 55 to 60. I think I talk probably more like 65 decibels. I'm a bit of a loud talker, but... Um, yeah, we should we should know that we should take care of our hearing. I know our younger population feel invincible and they've got the iPods, um, the earbuds in their ears, but please uh, be careful with how loud you're exposing your ears um, to music or anything else. Um, so yes, somebody asked my phone number. So for my particular clinic, 727-822-2132, um, 727-822-2132, um, and please give us a call. Someone is here to answer. If for any of you that are watching that have been in our clinic, you probably know Mary, um, and um, Mary is here to help. Um, 
If you know her, you love her, we all do. So someone is here for you, please give us a call. Um, what does it mean about the beeps in my ears? Um, Deborah, are you referring to a hearing, a hearing test? Are you doing one now? Because we do ask you to respond to beeps in your ears. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to or not. But if you're hearing uh, beeps, we measure that to determine how well you're hearing. I'm sorry if I'm misinterpreting that question. I'm answering it the best that I can. Let's see. Okay, we've got that. Um, oh, I see. Okay, you're hearing beeps in your ears from your hearing aids. Uh, it's likely that what that means is that um, you have to change your battery or your battery is low. If you have a rechargeable battery in your hearing aids and you're hearing beeps, yeah, then um, that means that you need to get them charged. If you're using disposable batteries and you're hearing beeps, then um, that means that it's time to put a new battery in. I hope that answers your question. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we'll wait for a couple more minutes and see if we get any more questions coming in. Wow, we're almost at 30 minutes. This time went so fast. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying being able to communicate with you. It is a little odd, you know, that we're not face to face and that's ideally the way we all prefer to be. I think um, our society is gonna be changing a little bit, but, um, we're all, we're adapting. And as humans, that's what we do, we do best. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap up because the um, questions coming in are slowing down now. So I just wanna thank everybody for spending um, a little time with me. And again, I wanna reiterate before we close out that we are here to help you and we have lots of ways to do that, including the telehealth, the curbside service, and even having you come into the clinic, know that you're gonna be safe and that we are wanting to keep you safe and us and um, our team. So we're here for you. Please call us and um, perhaps we'll do another live stream uh, in the future. Take care, everybody. Be safe.